Here we have Jasmine, you know, a really nice move, uh, almost a 5% move in the last 24 hours. You know, last night, Jasmine was trading around 17. Right? Like we were literally right here, guys. Look, you know, the last couple of days, we were looking at 15. Like, is Jasmine going to come and retest 15? Uh, some of you, you know, you don't think this is possible. Uh, but what I can tell you is the very next support is exactly this 15 target. This is the very next support. Uh, we go back to the question, is this the time to start building a long-term Jasmine position? Or is this the time you know, to start building a position that is going to produce profits in the next couple of days or in the next couple of weeks? When it comes to the altcoin market, I have a complete different strategy. The way I analyze the altcoin market, it is completely different from the way I analyze Bitcoin. So when it comes to the altcoin market, when it comes to Jasmine, this is not the time to build a position. Look, maybe these are the lows of this pullback, right? This is the beauty of technical analysis. Maybe this is, you know, the bottom of the pullback and getting in right here is a great, you know, a great strategy, a great idea, a great investment uh, for me personally. I, look, different people invest differently. For me personally, I need to see an uptrend. And right now, we just don't have an uptrend. And again, this could be the bottom. We just don't have a confirmation. You know, a little bit more data is needed. So what I would like to see is, look, I'd like to see Jasmine take out the previous lower high. If we can break above 24, get a pullback and put in a higher low, now I'm interested in Jasmine. Now I'm interested in building a position. Now, you may be looking at this analysis and you may be thinking, why is this not a good time to start building a position when Jasmine is down 58% from the highs of 2024? Why is this not a good time? Isn't that a big enough drop you know, for me to start building a position and adding on to my position? as the price continue to go low? It's a great question. I'm going to show you why I'm just not comfortable adding on to my position right here or building a new position right here. The reason is because we don't know, all right, if over the next couple of weeks, we don't have a move like this, all right? We just don't know, guys. And as long as we have, you know, a downtrend, this is, something that can absolutely play out all right this is a potential move right here a 50 percent drop is a potential you know potential move right i'm not predicting the jasmine is going to drop you know 50 percent 100 percent what i'm showing you is there's a higher probability there is a probability of something like this playing out all right and because of that I'm just not comfortable, all right? I'm just not comfortable, you know, building a position right here. I'm just not comfortable with the risk, you know, that comes with getting into a position right here, right? What I want to see is I want to see a Jasmine that looks like this, where the price is going up consistently. This is not what we have. We have a Jasmine with a price going down consistently. And I'm not here to try to predict like which one of these rallies is going to be this right here or this right here. This is not what I'm here to do because predicting moves like this, all right, is very hard, guys. But it's not just Jasmine. You know, it's many of these altcoins. You know, we talked about Polkadot. This is Polkadot right here. Polkadot is basically retesting the bear market lows. You may be looking at Polkadot you know, four dollars fifteen cents. You may be thinking, this is a great place to get in. You know, goes back to the, goes back to, you know, the topic of this video. Is this a great time to start a polka dot position because the price is more likely, right? The price is more likely to start going up consistently from here. And the answer is, we just don't have the data. You know to back that that claim 
you know, we just don't have, we just don't have an uptrend. We just don't know if this is the beginning of, you know, an uptrend. What we do know is this is a continuation of this downtrend. This is a polka dot that is more likely, you know, based on the trend of the market, this is a polka dot that is more likely continuing to go down. It will continue to go down. And when you look at the next targets, you know, we do have, you know, $3.72, our very last support, or look, anyway in this range right here, 363 or 370, whatever. Like once this is lost, polka dot is going all the way down to around $2.76. If you go from the price right here all the way down there, this is almost a 50% drop. It's a 30%. Yeah, this is a 30% crash. So this is a risk that I'm just not comfortable taking on. Now, when you have an uptrend, it is perfectly fine. All right, to miss your entry. All right, it is perfectly fine to buy higher. And the reason is because the market is going to bail you out. Right. The market is going to save you. Why is the market going to save you? Well, the reason is because pullbacks are short term and the price more likely continues to go up. So you could have bought Polkadot around $7 early in 2024. And Polkadot, you know, could have had a pullback right after that, a 20% drop. But because the trend was up, Shortly after that, not only were you going to, excuse me, not only were you going to break even, like not only was Polkadot going to go back to your entry, you were actually going to be in profits early after. So this is the difference between getting in when the trend is right and getting in when the trend is not right. The difference is very significant and it makes a very big difference. And again, it's a lot of easier, and we talked about this yesterday, a lot of easier you know, to look at the market, to look at these altcoins, you know, and, and think that you can buy the dip. That is not how you invest. Because the question always comes to, how many dips are you actually buying? Right? How much money are you actually, do you actually have? All right? Do you have... You know, endless capital, like, do you have money? Do you just not run out of money to continue to buy the dip? Imagine buying the dip in 2022. And it always comes back to, you don't know what this, you don't know how far this is going to go. Like, we just don't know. You know, we can try to say, you know, I think over the next two weeks, you know, the pullback is over, I think over the next month, but just opinions, right? Look at the chart, guys. All right, play the charts. Uh, so that is Polkada. You know, Koti, another one right here. Is this the time to start a massive position? Look, if you look at Koti right here, this looks like a wonderful place to get in. And if you are building a position, kudos to you. You're taking on a lot of risk. And if you are right, right, if this is the bottom of the current drop right here, you know, your gains are going to be substantial. And that is exactly what you deserve. You deserve every single gain. If this is your entry, and this is, you know, this ends up being the bottom, and the price of Kochi goes back to, you know, let's just say a dollar. You deserve every single profit because you took on the risk. You want to play safe. If you want to be in Kochi when the trend is actually up, right, and you do not have to, and you don't want to worry about is a potential 30% drop, you know, coming in the next couple of weeks. You wait until Koti breaks above 10 cents. Look, we break 10 cents. That is the last lower high. Price of Koti is going up. We break above 10 cents. We get above uh, well, 11 cents. You break above 11 cents. We get above, you know. Actually, no, excuse me. Yes, we break above 10 cents. We get above the 200 moving average. If we are above the 200 moving average, you are more likely to see a performance like this one right here. All right, look at this performance right here, guys. This is a 400% move. 
All right, right here you could have timed your entry. Very bad. All right, you could have you could have bought the top right here, but because the trend was up, the market was able to what? Market was able to save you. Right now, if this is your entry right here during a downtrend, look, market doesn't save you. In fact, the market crashes you. This is a sixty-two percent drop. If this is your entry right here, so. Imagine you bought the dips, all right? How many dips are we buying? And how long are we willing to continue to add on to our dips? Right? Is there going to be a time where, you know, we start questioning that, that strategy? You know, is there going to be time where, you know, we start to think about you know, maybe I got to cut my losses because it's actually getting worse? Those are the stuff that you have to think about. And I'm here to talk about those kind of stuff because those are the stuff that isn't talked about when you watch a lot of these influencers, right? Everybody talks about price going up. You know, they all talk about buying the dip when the market is pulling back, but they don't tell you what type of dips you should be buying. All right, when the market is going down like this, you do not buy the dip, guys. You stay on the sideline. Because this dip is going to continue dipping. What you actually do during an environment like this, you know, you wait for opportunities to short the market. Right? You don't just want to make money when the market is going up. You can also make money when the market is going down. 